Well, my little bunch of Rustomaniacs, what have we got here for you today? For our delight, look at this, look at this, look at this, wow, wow, wow. We found another gem, look at the, look at the beautiful condition of this book. Wow, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous book. And um, just before we uh, we indulge ourselves in this book, let's have a quick sniff of a... Oh, it's a bit like smelling, you know, a leather, in you know, a leather car. You know, you go open a, a, an old leather car, it's the same sort. Now, when I saw HSS, I thought, hmm, High Speed Steel Limited, but no, no, look, this... Is an engineering distributor and steel stockholders from Teddington, Middlesex. Hmm, might be interesting to Google it and see what it became, or is it still going and agents for? Look at this now. I don't know which way to. I don't know what to. Um, I don't. I've got so much to show you, but what I'm going to do. Uh, it has the. Uh, the index, all that sort of, you know, usual thing, but uh, I'm going to show you something, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, to keep, pique your interest, I'm not going to keep you waiting, I'm going to find what has driven me, I haven't found one of these before, this in this book before, and it's absolutely, here we are, look, look at these, look at this, there's a Myford in here, look, Super 7 and a Mifa 3.5. Look at this. Look at this. We've got one there, not the Boxford. And a little John. But look. <laughs> George, look at that. I've never found one of these in any literature before in the book. A Colchester student. Wow, 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 wow. Here it is. Look, you recognise the bottom of it and switches and the little cupboard that was there. Look at this. I've never seen a Colchester student in a... In, I've found one in a book before. And it's amazing, amazing. And what's more amazing, George, watch this for a price. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the price of that there, look. Wow, wow, wow. Lovely. Mmm. And then we've got a Colchester Master underneath. And then in the back here, look at this. Here's another Colchester. Triumph. A Colchester Mascot. Colchester, look at this. Wow, wow, wow. But yeah, so anyway, that's what a what an opening what an opening to a book. What a you know, we, we find you the impossible things to find. So let's have a flick through from the back. Let's start in the back here. Let's see what we can find. Um Bostic. Bostic, a well known name. Mm. What's great about these books is you can see what they actually looked like, what they can, you know, what the packaging looked like on these things. Mm, steel um, for um, putting oiling, oiling stuff. Look, there. There we are. Another. Norton Abrasives. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. Here we are, look. Gloves. Oh, yeah. Spray guns. Box and tackles. Hoover. Oh, electric motors. Oh, a little advert there, look. 
You can find them lot, block and tackles, the chain ones. Um, yeah, we've got a few of those, haven't we? To make a hole. Lovely, aren't they? They knew how to make the books, didn't they? Westco. Yeah, more oil cans. Footprint, look. Footprint, selling um, footprint. How much was a footprint in this book? Mm. Oh, four inch was three shillings, wasn't it? And three and six for a five and a... There we are. So we'll... It'll be interesting to compare prices to try and date the book because the front of the book says it's 1940s. Um... So it'll be, uh, we'll compare to the, because um, it'll all be a sort of a, a, generally the same price, but we'll be able to see uh, how the prices have changed over the years. Uh, and that's the good thing about the, the Buck and Hickman books. It's really nice when you get a price of something. If there's anything particular you've seen, or you want to see a price on, don't don't uh, hesitate to tell me. Reggie, um, I saw something in the book. I've got some questions for you. Whoops. About it. It was files and pliers. Nippers. Nipper. Is this the original nipper? Hmm. What have we got here? Nipper, yeah. Or pliers and nippers. Oh, I was thinking of nipex, yeah. No. Let's try and find a few makes and names. Gilbo, you see, metal cutters, Gilbo, they're the best. So we can tell that these are dealing with um, good firms. Uh, record, look, record is in this. Hmm? Yeah. I want a clips like a saw. A clips, yeah. All names that we're uh, sort of familiar with. Oh, Yankee. Ah, Yankee. Yankee screwdrivers. Hmm, yeah. How much were they? We got a price? Oh, yeah. 48 shillings, yeah. But a uh, lot of that for a Yankee, what they were then. Moore and Wright, look, we've got the Moore and Wright ratchets, screwdrivers, M and W, Moore and Wright. Oh, they even did a pump action. Oh, a Gordon engineer screwdriver. Well, well, well. Hmm. Yeah, Dormer. Dormer drills. Stanley. Yeah. Let's keep looking, let's keep flicking through. Oh, now, if we could only find that box, wouldn't that be fantastic? And I've got a sneaky feeling. I have got a sneaky feeling I might have that box. A stronghold. If you could only find that box, now you've found it in the book. And now... Have we got a price for it? Mm, there's no price for that. But this is where you get your pleasure, finding them, finding the item, finding the box, finding the label on the box, finding all the items, finding everything. Wow, 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 wow. Here we are, look. And I did see all the, all the thread tapping gear. Hmm. What did I? Reamers. Oh, yeah, drill. I've got one of them somewhere. Don't know if it's the same. Twist drills. Oh, yeah, toolboxes. Mm hmm. Yeah. Toolmaker's clamp book. More than right. Yeah. Uh, whose tape measures are? Rabon. Rabone, ah, this is Rabone before Rabone and Chesterman. So that's um, 
That shows you how far back it was Rabone, wasn't it? And then it was Rabone and Chesterman. Let's see if they've got any Rabone tape measures. Look, um, any Chesterman. It's, they're all hints, you know. They're all Rabone, look. They're all hints. They're all, it's, it's, it's a trail to follow. Rabone, there, look. Um, again. Bone machine levels, we've got those, haven't we? Yeah, wooden levels. Here we go, and punches, styles of punches. Oh, yeah, and of course, these have got to be more than right, haven't they? All the calipers, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, isn't this absolutely? Oh, slip gauges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, we've got those, haven't we? It's, um, and the numbers. Oh, we were looking for these, weren't we? Surface gauges. More than right. What was the name? An eclipse. What was the name of the the surface gauge we were hunting down the other day? George, hmm. Well, we've got another book in our armory to be able to um, look at these things. Oh, isn't this? Isn't this absolutely? Oh yeah. Ah, look. Even it's got those. There we are. Look, those um, micrometers are here. Um, and with the price, look. <laughs> blimey, blimey, blimey. Hmm. Yeah, what a another fantastic book uh in fantastic condition. Another survivor that's come to the safe. Look, you can see the sort of style of the machinery that they were peddling, they were selling, you know. Hmm. Another um, book found its way into safe hands. Yeah, and we're back here. We're back here on the lathes. Wilson. Wilson seven and a half. Wow. So, hmm, I try and find you the unfindable stuff, don't I? Yeah. Oh, we, yeah, we, we know we can sort of age and date the, the soldering irons now. Well, we've got a few of them knocking about somewhere in the bottom of a box. Yeah. Oh, and I did see Odell Wolf. Yeah, uh, that was... Was that the train period? Was that Wolf Sander? I did see another wolf thing. There we are. There we are. I've got one of those, haven't I? I've got that. I, I don't think it's a six inch. I think it's a four inch grinder I've got. Yeah. Yeah, GQ uh, 25 quid. Look at this, absolutely, these books are amazing. Hmm, well, there we are. I've brought you another absolutely fantastic book. And um, yes, I'm just looking, it took us 15 minutes to get through that book, but I think it was well worth 15 minutes of your life. Do you think so? Let me know, will you? Let me know. <laughs>